So, I'm exhausted. I didn't know what else to talk about today. I, I kind of didn't want to talk about this today. But, honestly, I'm just so fucking exhausted that, like, at this particular point, there's very little else going on in the attic. So... I might as well go with some material that uh, dropped in my lap this morning. <laughs> Esoteric Entity and his stupid fucking server, the back alley. Really? I shouldn't call it his server. I should call it Filthy Heretic's server because Filthy Heretic is the one who streams there, Filthy Heretic, is the one who posts there. It's pretty much his server. It's pretty much his channel. Because Esoteric Entity is a grifter and a punk-ass little bitch. To put it mildly. I don't know his name, so I'm just going to call him E. Nah, S-O. From now on in this video because there's nothing esoteric about him and he's a human not an entity i don't care how oo woo you think your fucking cartoon and cap for sona is your stupid little rant sona that you hide behind because really you're just <laughs> a dorky looking long hair and maybe you'd wear that with more pride if you could grow a beard. Who knows? But it didn't work out so well for you coming out onto face cam so that people could see, you know, how you look behind the rant sona. It's much easier to hide behind some space warrior with a big ass hammer that says logic on it than it is to admit that you're just a human being. That's the reason that most of my profiles don't have anything but my face on them. I'm not hiding behind anybody. If people don't like how I look, that's their fucking choice. But I'm not hiding, because I don't have anything to fucking hide. You, however, do, Esso. Which is why you ban people from your server who dare to question your narrative. It's why you constantly demod people who enforce your rules that you have in there. It's why you break your rules constantly. Now, what's the primary rule I'm talking about here? I'm Voldemort in their server because I went in there and I found a bunch of shit that makes them look like a bunch of racist, fascist, pedo enablers. Because that's exactly what they are. I'm probably going to make a broader, actually scripted video on this too. Because there's just so fucking much more. And I don't have fucking time tonight. Um, <laughs> but to be clear... This is what fell in my lap this morning. Um, somebody had the audacity to ask, Hey, what makes you say Jeremiah Harding isn't a real libertarian? I haven't seen an awful lot of his stuff, but what I have seen is pretty decent. Benevolent sociopath. A racist who's probably still friends with the pedophile that I went so hard against, um, who goes by Kits uh, Kitsune Ninetales or Vulpine Deity on Twitter, um, he says, ha, no. Um, just to be real clear here, it's yet more proof that these cartoon libertarians are hiding behind that in order to snow the fact that they're truly repugnant people. They hide behind these cute little cartoon characters. 
because it's a lot easier to do that than to put your name and your face behind the craven things you spew and to put your real world reputation on the line. That's what's hard. But these people never grew up and they have no interest in growing up. If you watch Vulpine Deity's YouTube channel, he thinks he's in an anime and it's fucking pathetic. So, this person asks, how so? Benevolent sociopath says he thinks thought crimes are valid. <laughs> now, let me be extremely clear here and say the reason they're saying this is because I oppose pedophilia and racism. That's it. That's all. They have nothing else. I oppose pedophilia on the grounds that it is anti-libertarian to include in your philosophical and framework of desires, your philosophical framework and your framework of desires, the desire to harm children. And I also think that uh, racism falls within a similar tone because racism is genetic determinism and it's the idea that somebody is automatically inferior because of the way they look. It's bullshit. It's anti-libertarian. Libertarianism is all about pulling yourself up from your bootstraps and doing a good goddamn job on whatever you want and you can make it by golly gee. That's the libertarian dream. You know? It's that you can still thrive if you want. That's not what racism is. Racism says that only certain people can truly thrive. And that because of the way somebody looks, you can judge them and pretend that that's not the case. This is not a libertarian thought pattern. Now, have I ever said... You should kill racists. No. Primarily because I don't want to get my YouTube taken down. And the same goes for people who think thoughts of children. Again, primarily because I don't want to get my YouTube taken down. But let me be real clear here and say that uh, ostracism is super easy. That is if you don't like these people. That is if you don't like racists and pedos. Problem is, a lot of fucking people do. Problem is, a lot of people are so fucking alone. So lost in the amount of people they've alienated and pushed... Uh, into other circles that the only people left are racists. The only people left are pedos. The only people left are unseemly elements. That's what SO is. That's what SO is. SO is nothing more than a scumbag who many people consider to be scum. I think probably 90 plus percent of the libertarian community is not with him. Easily, right? Um, and the rest of them, uh, most of them don't give a fuck about him. And the rest of those people, uh, are either on, like, his server or in his decidedly small YouTube audience. Now, sure, I think it's, like, more subscribers than me, but I'm one dude. And, hey, if that says anything about subscribing, if that says anything about quality of content versus number of subscribers, then it says volumes that I have put out more content in the past month 
then the back alley and Filthy Heretic's personal channel have put out since the beginning of the year. That says a fuck ton about their grift. Their real grift. Because they're going to start to call me grifters here in a short bit when I start reading some of these fucking comments. But they're the real grifters. And I'll get into that a little bit later. But the fact is that even their normal audience, even their more subscribers, don't tune into their broadcasts. They don't give a fuck. Most of them don't even talk in the server. They're like 360 server members, and like maybe 20 of them will comment in a given day. If it's a fast day. Esso has a tiny siloed off little circle jerk. That's what he has. That's all. That's it. And he doesn't like it when his tiny siloed off circle jerk gets threatened by the expulsion of a pedophile or by the riddance of racists because it's already a small enough engagement pool and he's terrified that if he starts getting rid of these people and the people who support them that he'll drop down to zero. Well, I kind of feel like if this is the kind of people you're with being zero and telling the truth is infinitely more honorable and respectable than being 20-ish and coddling their bullshit. But the reason this is done is because he wants his bullshit coddled too. Point blank. And he's full of so much bullshit. So let's get into some of that. The, the guy making these questions, I'm, I'm trying to, I might have included his name already, but I'm trying to leave it out in case he gets harassed. Um, I don't know this person as far as I know. Um, I don't know this person, but uh, I don't want him to get harassed. Uh, if I did already state his name, don't like harass him or whatever. Not that that helps anyway. It doesn't fucking matter. I just feel the need to say it. He says, in the tier list you made, you had him listed as not a real libertarian tier. <laughs> uh, and uh, this is after Esso had already said, I claimed he was a grifter, which he unquestionably is. Um, he then goes on to say, grifters have the same incentive structures as feds to co-opt libertarian philosophy, which explains many of Harding's inconsistent takes. Also, he has a ton of non-libertarian takes, e.g., that people in a prescriptive sense should suppress racism. Eat shit, cunt. He literally lies. My take is that if you know somebody is racist, um ostracize them you know don't do business with them don't invite them over to your barbecue that sort of shit it's perfectly fucking libertarian 100 percent. but he'd rather lie he'd rather lie i don't have any fucking inconsistent takes and i challenge you to find one and actually fucking quote me you piece of garbage you can't. That's the thing. He can't. He actually has no proof of anything he says against me. That's why he doesn't like people talking about me. But you know what? He does, as long as it's negative. The rule is 100% breakable, as long as they don't like me. Especially him. He'll talk for fucking hours about me. Even though the rule is in place that don't talk about me, don't even fucking reference me. I am Voldemort, but apparently Esso has a powerful enough sense of magic to resist my spells. And he can say my name without being cursed. Um, but the reason, 
the reason he has these in place is because he doesn't want people to take my side. He doesn't want people to take my side, so instead of giving them an opportunity to have a rational and whole critique of him, which might include some nasty things from mean old me, uh, he would rather nip that in the bud by saying, hey, shut the fuck up. I don't care about facts, reason, rationality, proof, truth, or liberty. I care about my stupid fucking furry ass brand. That's Esso. And I tweeted it out, you know? I tweeted out that, uh, you know, if you say racists can be libertarian because my freedom of association and then claim that someone is unlibertarian because they propose the ostracism of racists, you really don't give a fuck about freedom of association. You just don't want your associations criticized. That's it. That's it in a fucking nutshell. Racists, sexists, homophobes, transphobes. A long list of people who, because of the way somebody was born, they think these people can't be as good as them. That's how you end up with massive statism. Massive statism. Because the state is then the prescriptive entity for controlling these unseemly elements. Because if they can't control themselves, then somebody else has got to do the job, right? It's where you get fascism. Because fascists love to control minorities. Hell, it's where a lot of state communism leads. It's why it's valuable to have a political channel in your server to find the Maoists in order to purge the anti-LGBT people from LGBT-friendly servers. You know who you are. But my point generally is that, uh, yeah, these things don't lead to libertarian solutions. They flatly don't. They lead to the state barring certain phenotypes every single fucking time. Without fail. Or, they lead to them making certain laws that make it harder for certain phenotypes to engage with the market, with society, etc. Or throw them in jail disproportionately. That's what they do. These ideas never lead to a libertarian conclusion. And that's why the most racist person in your server... A guy who goes by Black Spruce, that's why he constantly has uh, names like sterilize women and abort black babies. Because you have no fucking shame and you have no spine to remove statists from your midst, midst when they prove that's what they are. Because it shrink your already tiny audience. You don't care about Liberty Esso. And it comes up real fucking fast here. Because <laughs> you somehow stopped responding. You said uh <laughs> Let me let me find the original part of this conversation. Um so another person says and I know this person, maybe we'll get into that conversation at some point, my philosophical disagreement with him is solipsism. Of course, that guy's also in high school, so, you know, maybe once his prefrontal cortex is more developed, he'll understand how little he understands, and the solipsism will make more sense. Solipsism, for those of you who don't know, is the idea that any single individual could be alone in the universe because all your perceptions could be bullshit. It's not the idea necessarily, although there are people who believe this, that you are. It's not necessarily that, and mine certainly isn't. It's more like a razor, like a philosophical razor to cut to the truth of matters. 
you know. But that's a subject for a different vidue. Hell, it might have been a better subject for tonight's vlog. If you want to hear me uh, rant about solipsism tomorrow, feel free. Uh, but this person proceeds with, he has great articles on the Agoras Nexus, though. And uh, Esso replies, it's not possible to argue libertarianism, or anything for that matter, from a solipsistic framework. Bullshit. I do it, and you've pr disproven me not. Come at me, bro. Actually come at what I'm saying. Not what you want me to have said for you to feel right in saying that I'm wrong, but what I actually said. That's not my issue with him, though. His constant grifting and community toxicity, coupled with his repeated use of dishonest and manipulative tactics to lie about others in the liberty movement, have earned him a solid place on my shit list. Yet he couldn't list one lie. Not a single lie. He didn't. Can't. I'm toxic? Look at your server, motherfucker. Look at how many racial slurs you use. That's you. That's your server, right? Your entire server is based and built on toxicity. 100% of it. Shut the fuck up. Um, <laughs> and then this other person goes on to say, I agree with him on some stuff, though. Like how he tries to out pedos in the movement. That's something which has been long overdue. I have a special hatred for pedos in general. Anyone who preys on vulnerable children. So anyone who targets them and makes it harder for them to function, I have respect for. Wow. It's almost like uh, it's okay to say, I did something right. Well, you know, with normal, rational, sane people. With Esso, he goes, I'm just outing pedos in the movement, in scare quotes, proceeds to slander anyone who's critical of him, mainly people who promote arguing from frameworks which threaten his ability to continue grifting off of libertarianism as pedos. Nope. I have proven every single one of my claims, and you have not proven a single one of your claims against me. You keep making them, though. I've had screenshot after screenshot, video after video. I have had fucking streams with these sick fucks. I have had long sessions of ripping their server. You know? I have had <laughs> so much exposure to their bullshit. Filthy Heretic was still in a pedophile's server full of a bunch of fucking pedophiles when I was kicked out of it. Shut the fuck up. The other guy says, I don't agree with everything he does, but I'm giving him credit where it's due. I really don't like how every interaction with him seems to be tied to some sort of drama it makes dealing with him kind of taxing. That's fair. But that's one of the reasons that I'm 100% okay with saying, don't follow me, don't subscribe. This is designed to be a really hostile account. All of my accounts are. Because the point of them is that if you can't handle that, you can't handle uh, Aloha. You can't handle Luau. You can't handle jack fucking shit if you can't handle this. And he can. That's why he's willing to talk to me. Literally everyone hates pedos from SO. No, you don't. You don't. Otherwise, you would have banned them before I came in. You would have banned them after I proved them to be pedos, at least. You would have looked at the evidence. You would have found out the truth. You don't hate pedos. You only banned them and I should really say, you only let your moderator ban them after re-adding them multiple times. You only banned them because it was a headache and a half. Your words. I have your server preserved. I have it downloaded to my computer. I can find you saying that even if you delete it. So don't even try to run. 
No one agrees they have a place anywhere near the movement. You do. Regardless of their contributions. Bullshit. That's just a flimsy pretext for him to feign indignation at anyone who calls him on his bullshit, though. <laughs> Find my bullshit. Quote my bullshit. Quote a single lie I have ever told and prove it to be false. You're lying. That's the truth. The other person says he actively outs them, though. Because, you know... I do. <laughs> um, <laughs> and he says, this is the same tactic statists have been using to try and discredit anti-political personalities in debate for the last century. Oh, I just, uh, <laughs> I just want workers' safety. You don't think the government is legitimate and, and are critical of my arguments supporting it? You're uh, arguing... <laughs> It's just so fucking stupid. You're arguing my means can't achieve the ends I'm promoting? You just hate workers. Blurring the line between means and ends, treating them interchangeably is a con man's favorite manipulation tactic. The other guy continues. He ran an entire group dedicated to exposing them. I'm not defending his tactics or grifting towards you. I'm saying that I respect him for going after pedos. Esso says, Snake oil salesman. Psychiatrists, pharmaceutical cartels, directors of government schools, and literally every other person abusing others or running an organization which systematically abuses people. I'm just trying to treat people. You wouldn't attack someone for treating people, would you? You just don't like seeing people treated. <laughs> and then he goes on, The means he's employed are the only thing which matters. Intentions are arbitrary and can be changed on a whim. They mean nothing. And, uh... <laughs> The other guy continues, as far as I'm aware, his pedo-exposing used means entirely consistent with libertarianism. They fucking did. When, quote, I didn't directly coerce anyone in the process, end quote, is your only defense, you've probably fucked up somewhere. Hey, did you know that arguing positions which are incompatible with libertarianism doesn't require doing anything which violates libertarian means? Neither does psychologically abusing people grifting or co-opting the philosophy behind the movement. More esso trash. The other guy says, I'm honestly confused about what you're getting at. Literally all I'm saying is that I like that he exposes pedophiles. I'm not trying to defend his grifting. I'd like to know where I've grifted at all, by the way. I make content. I request donations for the content. That's not grift. It never has been. My point is that I don't know a single pet. This is S.O. again. A single pedo he's exposed. All he has is his expressed intention of doing so, which has 100% of the time only been used as a pretext for his grifting tactics. Exposing pedos to him has just been trying to discredit critics of positions he promotes in the movement or going after people who spanked him in a debate. Hasn't once happened. But, you know, you can lie about that. You can lie about me if you want. Because immediately, Infurgent comes in for the win. Riley. And this other guy points directly up at him. Riley is but one pedophile I have created sort of information webs on. Um, and this particular pedophile was in Esso's server. Again, Esso only banned this guy because it was a headache and a half, not because he dislikes pedos. And he still kept in this guy's pedo alleged girlfriend, which was probably a sock of Riley's to begin with. Riley has multiple socks. Riley being a pedophile who likes him five years old, who says that he wants to stick with the children's rights stuff for now and move on to the map stuff later. He's literally a co-opter. He's literally a grifter. He's literally an infiltrator. Literally infiltrating. And Esso is pissed that I called Esso on Esso's bullshit for encouraging his presence in his server. Plain and fucking simple. And so I go on, you know. Um, and I've already explained all this on Twitter, right? I go on to talk about this subject, right? Um, because he says, in response to bringing up Riley, that's debatable. But Riley stepped in shit too many times for I'm just being controversial to hold any weight. 
That's more deflection. It's easier to say that long ass sentence than to say, yeah, I had a fucking pedophile in my server using my server as a fucking launch pad for his shit ideas. It's a lot easier to say that than to say all this bullshit. You know, all this bullshit. And he could have just gone to therapy. Oh, but by the way, he says that the entire psychological industry is bullshit. Might be because he has some psychological issues he doesn't want to admit exist. And admitting that they exist might be impetus to, like, get them solved and stop with this bullshit. But hey, you know, <clears throat> yeah, I'm just a grifter. Not at all like he could be one, right? Well, no. <laughs> because this is a conversation that was had not too long later. This guy called NPC Debugger comes in and says, "I don't know what the fuck right what the fuck Riley is or isn't, but I can what I can tell you is that Harding is a good for nothing grifter whose only real purpose is to push splits and cause ideological confusion in the libertarian community, and that it would be ideal for the future of humanity if his router exploded and he never used the internet again." It's like a tantrum. It's one hundred percent just a tantrum. <laughs> the whole anarcho-coalitionist thing seems like it was designed by the glowiest glower to ever step foot in a CIA office. Why the hell would you, any self-respecting libertarian with their head on straight want to try and synchronize the position, the poison that comp comprises what remains of left anarchism with agorism? You just blur the lines between a functioning ideology and the most overwhelmingly dysfunctional optics in the history of politicking. They're completely opposed to each other in principle, and the only reason anyone would actually want to try to fuse the two is to compromise agorism as an ideology co-opting its theory and associating with it with what I can only call completely insane. I'm just going to read what I tweeted in response. Agorism is and has always been left libertarian. Konkin founded the movement for the libertarian left, now the alliance for the libertarian left. He regularly returned, referred to agorism as left, and anti-capitalist he opposed wage labor and corporations. Much more too, grifter. Um, and Esso comes up with, <laughs> he also regularly expresses a desire to kill people who support feds, despite obviously having no intention to do so, talking about Riley, since support is an arbitrary criteria in the sense that he was using it. I honestly have serious doubts whether he actually feels that way, but that's the problem with Riley, and my point wasn't to defend him, my point is that even assuming he doesn't actually think or feel something along these lines he, uh, he needs to realize and presumably does that you can't just say things like this and not expect a reaction typically associated with how people respond to people who argue these takes but let's drop the subject because honestly this is probably a ploy to create community infighting <laughs> since the person who asked the question which prompted this is almost never active in here and only joined coincidentally around the same time that we kicked the grifters who were in here. Nope, otherwise you'd leave, grifter. <laughs> Massive cope. I'll, I'll just read this again. Riley admitting, m admitted to wanting 12-year-olds and you kept him in your server for a year. You even kept him in there after he admitted to five. L like, literally shut the fuck up. You and your shit-ass associations are chickens coming home to roost. Own it, coward. It doesn't get any better. It doesn't get any better. <laughs> he says that anarcho-coalitionism is trying to steer the liberty movement back into a political framework, which is glowy. I'm not going to read any more of this. It's all on my Twitter. I just thought it'd be valuable to preserve it on the library blockchain. You know? I figure also it'd be valuable to bring up the fact that NPC Debugger has dropped a hard R in that server 196 times, and that Esso has beaten him with 236 results, all talking shit about black people. 100% of them. They don't talk positively about black people. There aren't black people in there. Right? The server is a racist hub. 
And it was pedo-friendly up until I came along and did my meanie weenie thing that they're trying to call a grift. Which is 100% not what it is. Which he can't prove is a grift. Which he can't prove is glowy. Which he can't prove is lies or smears or anything else that he's fucking lied about. 100%. These people are racist cunts who hide behind humor and irony. That's all. 100%. That's the reason this grifter has made less content than me. Very recently, I have massively overtaken him in terms of content frequency. I get paid to do what I do to put out articles, to be a podcast editor. I'm working on a documentary. I'm working on multiple books. I'm working on a variety of things, not the least of which are things which are tools that people can use to actively fight the state. You, allegedly, lied about finishing a book for a dead man, Konkin's book. You lied, allegedly, about finishing that book for money and then took the money and ran. You refused to give somebody a refund for a video you still refuse to make. You cry whenever anybody brings up the fact that you should probably make content if you're going to get paid, and that maybe you're kind of fucked. Maybe you kind of shouldn't have stopped making content if you want to be called a content creator, and maybe there's shit wrong with you. Maybe you're not fucking perfect. Maybe it's not not debatable. Maybe you're debatable as fuck. And the reason you don't like having opposition in your fucking server is because it means that people might debate you. Especially if they're going to debate you on me. You know? It's real easy to pull this shit. It's real easy. Because all you gotta do is ban people and make your stupid fucking arbitrary little Voldemort rule. By the way, thanks for the power. Thanks for giving me a place in that list Because now, forevermore, people who come into your server will know of the true alternative to your bullshit. That's me. Yeah, I like Sonic too, but I've never pretended to be the human shadow. I've never put vor art out there of children being eaten. I'm not you, S.O. The worthless grifter. And just to drive it home... The Executioner put out a video recently, another cringe rant Sona channel, by the way, uh, where he (laughs) he called him Mr. Grifter and then barely went over any sort of thing that could even point to Grift. I was disappointed by that, so I listed some stuff, you know? He has a Patreon, but he posts no content, hasn't even streamed in like a month, took money to make a racist and a fascist a video, still hasn't done that, refuses to refund, cries about having to do regular content, doesn't even understand the subjects he discusses, takes an extremely long time to prove his naivete, lies about libertarian ethics while harboring maps and fascists, bans anyone who criticizes him while hiding behind Manap and free speech to harbor the mentioned, does all of this while only making content responding to other people's. Poorly. Has a dying server, channel, etc., and no social media to dodge public criticism. Called me a narcissistic grifter while doing less than I do. Has rules forbidding discussion of certain people, myself included. Breaks them whenever he feels like it. I could go on, but you get the point. He really is Mr. Grifter. Any accusations of grift are projection. This tier list. It really did put a smile on my face because I knew that eventually some thinking people would look at it and say, Hey, yeah, you know what? This is fucking bullshit. It's self-aggrandizing trash. And you should have kept it in the drafts. Now, why is all this important? Well, I wouldn't talk for 40 minutes if I weren't going to make a point. But let me be real clear and extremely specific 
when I say that this is what happens when you let bigots near your movement. I'm not going to dissociate from people in that regard, right? I'm not going to walk away uh, if I think they're redeemable, if I think that there's something that can be done or, you know, some sort of, like, way to philosophically reach them, right? But if somebody is so obviously beyond help, maybe you helping them is helping the enemy. You know? Maybe we shouldn't have all these phobes here. And I, by the way, I do mean phobes. These people treat treat LGBT plus fucking people of alternate races to theirs uh, like the massive menace. And that can only be born of fear. I, I don't I don't go for phobia, but these people are massively phobic in this server. And, like, maybe the broader idea of libertarianism should be isolated from things like republicanism. Maybe political parties were a mistake because they allowed us to move further in that direction. Maybe uh, the statism that has been slowly creeping in has been creeping in since the beginning of anarchism entirely, and also has been creeping in especially strongly since partyarchy took hold, and made everybody think that if you're not part of the libertarian party, you're not fucking libertarian somehow. Um, and maybe caucusing with these people is just a way to get either the Republicans or Democrats a few more votes when you finally admit that, hey... We keep not doing so well in elections, and so why don't we go with this other party? Well, maybe because there's a bunch of racists in there, or some other problematic group of people that you should probably not associate with if you want to claim to defend liberty. I'm exhausted. This whole video I've been struggling to keep my eyes open. But at the same time, I feel like it needed to be said. Currently my longest vlog, and that means nobody will probably finish the video. If you did, feel free to click the buttons here, subscribe, etc. If you want to sponsor this piece of shit like the first month was sponsored, feel free. You, yes you, can help enable my actually not grift grift. Because I work very fucking hard. Every single fucking day. Unlike Esso. Unlike Filthy, unlike all of these loser cunts who would rather libertarianism be entirely compromised than to clean up a Discord server or do something similarly easy. Like, tweet out, hey, maybe don't do that, don't say that, don't etc. Maybe we should be the self-policing organism that libertarianism promises to be. I'm ranting past when the 20 seconds would be. I'm going to have to sit do the whole subscribe and like thing again. Whatever. Point is, it's super easy. It's more easy than they want you to think it is. Because they, ultimately, a lot of these people, just want their associations uncriticized. They want to be able to go on doing whatever they fucking want to do and no accountability even if they're in the wrong. That's not libertarianism. That's statism light, or the roots of the biggest state possible. The biggest governments always start from the smallest. Anyway. <laughs> Subscribe, like, comment, hate me, lie about me, whatever the fuck you want to do. Me and my people over here will continue doing the right things for liberty. Smash the state.